if you look at the world, the power relations have been changing. Uh, and the, the role of Europe today is not comparable to what it was in the 19th or the early 20th century. So uh, when the UK adds to continental Europe, uh, uh, I think that it's, it's not a zero-sum game. It's, uh, uh, I think both see their influence increasing. First, the UK having an influence in decisions that are taken about the future of the European Union. And second, the fact that uh, a European Union without the UK is much less relevant uh, in today's world than a European Union with the UK. And the UK alone also will have difficulties in uh, having a real influence in what are the global issues of uh, today's world. This debate and Europe at the moment, actually even in the United States, is revolving around immigration. It's a very emotional fact for people in all our countries. Are you surprised that this is causing such political upheaval all over the place, including probably deciding the fate of this referendum? I think that uh, this debate has been very strongly influenced <coughs> by what happened last year. And all of a sudden, Europe was confronted with a, a big increase in the number of people coming, especially into the shores of Greece. Now, the fact is that Europe was not prepared for that. Uh, and even if things have been predicted, uh, but it was not prepared for that, and uh, it had difficulties in putting its act together in order to give a, a combined European answer that would be able to manage the situation. Why did it have so many difficulties? You know, there's been a lot of criticism that this 500-strong bloc, all these countries, they could have done it, but they didn't. We were talking about uh, one million people that came, uh, with, and that is clearly a sizable movement, but we are talking about 500 million, more than 500 million citizens of the European Union, which means that if these would have been properly managed with a huge reception capacity, with adequate screening, uh, including security screening, and then with a distribution according to the possibilities of the different European countries, without people moving chaotically through the Balkans, what frightened many people, because many of the European citizens looking at that chaotic movement, nobody was in charge, they thought we are going to be invaded. Now, if this would be properly organized, uh, going by plane to different uh, destinations in Europe, nothing of this would have happened. And today, probably, Europe would be celebrating the success of its refugee policy instead of uh, being involved in a debate that is very emotional, sometimes, let's be clear, very irrational on migration. Uh, migration has been there forever, uh, since ever. Uh, migration is, in my opinion, part of the solution of the global problems. And in a continent like Europe, in which we have uh, fertility indexes in most of the countries below 1.5... Uh, You're saying we need it because our population is shrinking. Migration is part of the solution of European problems.